hey guys uh, this is Pratap here and this part is the second one uh, which is switch configuration part 2 so part 1 we have discussed about all that uh, show commands and everything for that uh, knock support team and network support team so who will be having access mostly up to privilege mode over here we are going to show you some more basic I mean uh, some more advanced and uh, you know up to this much level most of the people may have access okay so first we will be uh, you know uh, configuring uh, for I mean we are going to put the security for console access so for that console access what we will do let's say this is switch we will be going to the global configuration mode and we'll put uh, line console <clears throat> line console 0 then you will set that password then you can put the password like Cisco and then you will be type in command login now you see here we are doing it let's say this is your uh, uh, user exe mode then you will be going to global config mode let's say uh, We'll go here global config mode and put that password I mean put the configuration what configuration line console 0 then password Cisco then login make sense now once will be come out from here now you can see here so it will be asking about your password the password is Cisco here so you get in now you put the password and then finally will come so this is how you can uh, set the password for console so command is very simple you will be going to the global config mode and you'll put the command line console 0 password and then login so the next we will be coming which is uh, you know telnet command so what is telnet guys basically telnet will be uh, the protocol which will be helping you to connect uh, your device uh, remotely suppose uh, in your building you are a network admin you are in third floor and uh, your uh, most of the equipment are in uh, either ground floor or maybe in the fifth floor or sixth floor so rather going again and again there so you will be able to access those device with the help of telnet or SSH so telnet is not much secure it sends the you know uh, like uh, text in a clear text mode and information I mean data it sends in a clear text mode but once you'll be talking about SSH it will everything will be encrypted so latest SSH version is SSH version 2 point O and uh, you know SSH port number is 22 and telnet port number is 23 so how we will be configuring so let me have a look I mean let me show you up I mean so you'll be putting here uh, line then BTY BTY let's say 0 4 then you can put here the command transport input SSH okay which will be enabling your SSH then you can put that password okay then you can put that version so then uh, you know from your PC or from your desktop from anywhere so you can have a access so if you go to uh, you know in this channel you know you can go to the playlist and you can go to the switch you can see there how to configure VTP and all those those all information will be there okay so now next will be coming suppose you know sometime it happens you, you connected one switch to the printer and uh, your switch is having a 1G gig port but the printer having some port 
and after that it's not coming uh, you know up the interface is not coming up it means maybe that uh, you know printer is not supporting the duplex or uh, you know half duplex or something okay so that kind of thing is so if you like to do that so how we'll be doing that you know this is a duplex setting how we'll be doing it so number three will be going here suppose we'll be going interface gig uh, zero by zero done then you can put here speed once you'll be giving speed and question mark it will be showing with the speed like which all speed you want to put if and to uh, you know speed and auto you can put auto all right so that's the way you can do now next will be coming uh, this is the speed and all those you can take from there next uh, number four let's say you want to access your switch in graphically and you want to see how how the thing is so you will be going to global configuration mode in your switch and type that command ip h http and server then okay then we will be putting here ip http port done so you will be setting the port after that you will be going to the browser and put that ip address of that uh, you know um, vlan ip of the switch and then you can able to access graphically but that will be looking peculiar you know most of the configuration you can do mostly show command i mean you can check that uh, you know some basic details so that all you can check from there all right so now guys uh, if you like to save the configuration so like whatever changes you have made so you can type here uh, copy uh, run and then start that means copy running config to startup config so this is the way you can save the configuration so remaining all that uh, you know commands like uh, your uh, creating vlan deleting vlan managing vlan vlan types the dtp uh, deep tp modes okay so those all uh, videos uh, is there inside that you know switch switch in the sense if you if you go for the playlist of my channel and from there you can uh, find out like you know switch so in the switch all that configuration will be finding up there guys so uh, that's all otherwise this video is going to be very large so you know rather doing that so you can uh, have a look from there itself so that's all guys thank you